What's up all you minties? This is the Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition and join me today as I go over more DC Collected Editions, a couple of IDW and Dark Horse books as well coming out in the fourth quarter of 2020. Stay tuned. Now before I get started, I want to give a huge shout out to Brooks Loves Books. He's a good friend of mine that is always finding these books uh, in the catalogs. I don't know how he does it, but um, God bless you, man. So we are looking at some DC books and a couple of Dark Horse and IDW books that are filling up the catalogs coming in the fall of 2020. So it looks like we're going from September all the way up until some in January, too. Now, these are all subject to change, the dates, and maybe sometimes a cancellation, but let's hope not. So keep that in mind as I go through these. Um, I've announced a few about a week and a half ago. It's when I did it, so here's some more. Starting off this list, we're getting another Booster Gold hardcover collection. Uh, this is the Dan Jurgens run, and it looks like this might finish out. Yeah, actually, this would finish out Booster Gold because it goes all the way to 25 and including issues of Millennium. Uh, and that one on September 1st. I'll put the information down here and when it comes out. Animal Man. This is a huge book right here. Um, not in size, but it means a lot to people. Animal Man by Grant Morrison, book two, deluxe edition. This is one that has been rumored to be just completely canceled. It The last one came out about three years ago, I want to say. And volume one, it's been an omnibus, but these deluxe editions were supposed to have collected the entire run and it just for some reason got dropped so we never thought we were going to get it and now it's coming batman gotham by gaslight the deluxe edition so we know that the absolute gotham or gotham gotham by gaslight on candy omar talk pretty one day was canceled the absolute version of that was canceled so maybe they brought it back down to this regardless this is a beautiful book with beautiful art by mike mignola so i will probably end up getting it batman the man who laughs deluxe edition one of my favorite Batman stories. Um, also collecting uh, the three issues in Detective Comics by Brubaker. But this is a great, great story about Joker. And it's getting the deluxe uh, edition treatment. Now, this next one, Batman the Demon Trilogy, we knew about. But we didn't know exactly what it was going to be. We didn't know if it was going to be standard size. But from the price, and I'm just assuming here, it it is going to be an oversized hardcover. Just based on, on that price alone, the $75 price mark. But I'm excited for this because it's the, the whole trilogy of uh, Raj, Al Ghul, or Raz, or Rage, call him whatever you want. Batman the Golden Age, this is one that I didn't talk about the last time, this one comes out on December 8th. Um, this is the Golden Age Volume 9, so I know a lot of people were worried about this, and I want to say this might be one of the last ones, if not the last Golden Age Batman book before we get to the Silver Age stuff. Uh, and then what I talked about a couple of days ago on our live episode, uh, this one kind of broke my heart because it kind of just sealed the deal on what they're going to do with Man of Steel, and that is Superman Man of Steel Volume 2. It's an oversized hardcover. So it looks like the Man of Steel omnibus that was announced was canceled, and now they're going to try to do it in oversized hardcover format. At least I think it's oversized hardcover format. I hope it is. Because, I mean, with that price of almost 50 bucks, I would assume it's oversized. But let's hope. We don't we don't have the dimensions on that yet. We just have the actual content. Then we have a new omnibus, Batman Detective Comics Omnibus. This is the James Tinian run. Interesting that we're going with that, the Rebirth run, instead of finishing out the new 52 uh, Scott Snyder. Not that I don't like this run. This is one of my favorite runs out of Rebirth. But it's just... Maybe we should have shifted the focus on finishing out the Scott Snyder omnibus first and then move on to the Rebirth because that Scott Snyder run was from New 52. Um, so I, I don't know. We may still get it by end of year. I don't think this is this is everything quite yet. Super Sons Omnibus Expanded Edition. Now, what this is is the original Super Sons Omnibus, which is phenomenal, and then they're adding the Adventures of the Super Sons. This one comes out on December 22nd. So, uh, I the first one went out of print, and there's going to be some double dipping. I mean, if you're into Super Sons, and I love Super Sons, so I will be double dipping for sure. Batman the Cape Crusader Volume 5, I had to throw that in here. I know it's not an oversized hardcover, it's not an omnibus, but I am so excited that they are continuing these, and I'll take them. 
I'll take him out. I know we're not getting an omnibus, but I've come to terms with that years ago. But we are getting the post-Crisis on Infinite Earths Batman for the first time in chronological order. Skipping a few things like Year 1 and Year 2, of course, but those are available in Deluxe Edition. Now we're getting the Cape Crusader Volume 5. So, awesome. Um, another one I did not see coming is Phantom Stranger Omnibus. We're getting that. That's $125. Now, this is the one that kind of trickles in to the month of January. So, this one comes out on January 5th of 2021. Like I said, dates are subject to change. Here's a big one for a lot of people that have been trying to find the oversized hardcovers, and I know I've been asked a lot on my channel. 100 Bullets Omnibus Volume 1. So this collects the first half of the story, so there should be a total of two Omnis. Hopefully the second Omnibus will collect the, uh, what was that miniseries? Oh, I can't, where he's on the island. It's a miniseries that was never collected in the OH OHCs, so hopefully they'll add it to the second Omnibus. Um, so very excited for those people that have never read it and were hunting for the OHCs. Batman and Brave and the Bold, Bronze Age Omnibus Volume 3, also scheduled for January. Collecting Brave and the Bold 157 to 200. Man, they are moving along. Oh, that's got stuff by Mike W. Barr. Hmm. I know I've said before that my DC begins with Crisis on Infinite Earths. But sometimes I make exceptions depending on who the writers are and who the creative team is. Uh, and the last one that I have so far, because we also have box sets coming out, like trade paperback box sets of Blackest Night and Brightest Day, um, New 52 stuff, Earth Earth 1 box sets. There's a Noir Swamp Thing book coming out. But um, the one that I, I'm excited about, I don't know about you all, it's the Archie Goodwin series and Walter Simonson. This is uh, Manhunter. So Manhunter by Archie Goodwin and Walter Simonson is getting a deluxe edition. $17.99. Collecting those runs or the backup stories in Detective Comics. And then the epilogue. I'm excited about that. Now we're going to be talking about some uh, Dark Horse books. So moving on to Dark Horse. Like I said, I don't think that's all of DC. That's just what we have so far. Please don't forget to hit that like button. Now's a good time to remind you all. We can be found on Patreon and Redbubble. It's a great way to support the channel and all of that information is in the description down below. And remember to keep washing those hands and stay safe, everybody. So the very first one we have from Dark Horse is BPRD, The Devil You Know. Uh, this is labeled as an omnibus, but I think this is the hardcover that's coming out. It's the same format that the other hardcovers from Dark Horse have been, like all the BPRD stuff. The World of Black Hammer, Library Edition, Volume 1. So it's the mini-series, not the actual ongoing series of Black Hammer. This one comes out on September 8th. Very excited that they're collecting all of those. I don't think it's going to include the JLA um, Black Hammer crossover. Umbrella Academy, Library Edition, Volume 3. And there's also going to be the Slipcase Edition. This is uh, Hotel Oblivion, the one that just came out last year. So I like the purple color on this. They've all been different, black, red, and now we're getting purple. Enigma, the definitive edition, coming out on October 27th. I'm a big Peter Milligan fan when he's doing his own stuff, and the art looks really pretty on that. So, yeah, I think I, I like that. Black Hammer Library Edition coming out October 6th. Um, so we are continuing Jeff Lemire series in Library Edition. I couldn't be happier. That stuff was awesome, and I can't wait to read more. I've read some of the minis. I haven't read more of the ongoing. Now, that's it for Dark Horse, but I think they're not done with the catalog yet. I think we'll see more and more stuff pop up in there. I'm sure they're waiting to see what's going on with all the things happening in our world lately. So I'm sure we will see more announcements. Now we're moving on to IDW. We have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Ultimate Collection, Volume 7. This comes out on September 29th. I'm trying to think. Volume 6 came out maybe four years ago? And this looks like to just be covers. So I don't I don't know about that one. Now we have Transformers Volume 3, All Fall Down. These are the new series of card covers that have been coming out. The World in Your Eyes is the one that kicked it off. And speaking of Transformers, on sale on January 5th, like I said, some of these are trickling into the next year. Transformers IDW Collection Phase 2, Volume 12, hell yes. Um, I don't know if the content is right, though. Although, I don't know. It depends if they're going to collect a bunch of the Revolution stuff for Volume 13. I thought there were going to be 13 volumes in total before we move on to Phase 3, which is um, Optimus Prime and then the Lost Lights uh, comic. But 
maybe maybe um well no till till all our one one through four is in here and i think five through eight will probably collect be collected in phase three if i'm not mistaken so maybe we'll just have a, a volume 12 of this but anyway what i notice is the price it's 59.99 instead of 49.99 and the con the, the page count doesn't to doesn't seem to be that much bigger i mean it is a slightly bit bigger and finishing it off with teenage mutant ninja turtles the idw collection volume 12 they have caught up to the phase two books coming out on january 12 still collecting stuff from the teenage mutant ninja turtles universe still collecting miniseries and then a few issues of the ongoing so this is going to be a big book also 59.99 that might be the new price point but my favorite incarnation of the Ninja Turtles and both of those books are due out in January. Both of those books I look forward to. They're part of my childhood and now they're part of my kid's childhood. Uh, so if you're interested in any of these books when they do come out, please check out our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. And for you minties, Cheap Graphic Novels is renting a special promotion. If you're a first time customer, let them know you were referred by Near Mint Condition at the checkout and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. Now this is only for US customers. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the list. So thank you all for watching. Thank you, thank you. Uh, because of the interactions that I have with you all through the comments, I've, so I've, I've gotten to know so many of you over the years. And the reason I keep making these videos, we are almost at 20,000 subscribers and I promised a big giveaway. We may have to delay that giveaway, but it will come, I promise. Uh, thank you to our patrons. Because of you all, we got a new sound system. We got a new lighting system. So we really appreciate that. It keeps making these videos so much easier. Um, and yeah, just thank you everybody for watching. We can we can be found on Patreon and on Redbubble. All that information is in the description. Uh, we put out videos every day. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And more importantly, Please, everybody, stay safe and healthy out there.